Maine tomatoes. They are just loaded and they're turning red. You know what that means? Salsa! Welcome to the kitchen. It's time to make salsa. Salsa time! The recipe will be in the description box below. I just take any bad spot. You want to take that core out. So we just kind of cut at an angle. That comes right on out. All we do is we put them in a pan of boiling water and the skin just breaks away. They don't have to be in here very long. And we'll peel the skins off and we'll start cutting them up, taking the seeds out. A lot of times you can see right where it splits and the pan is already coming off. So then just go ahead, continue to put freshly cut tomatoes in here and only be in here for a few minutes and I'll be back to get these out. Sort of like with the beets, you put it in a colander you turn a little cold water over it, cool them down. And if you look how nice and easy that skin comes off of there, it just peels right off and it's skin. Now any little white spots that we have, we'll just take our knife and cut those out, transfer them back into a bowl. And we just follow that process over and over and over. Now that we've got everything chopped and cleaned up, time to start cooking. Here what we've done, we've got our tomatoes, in the colander, set over another bowl so it's drained. It's been sitting here for a little while. We've got most of the most of the juice drained out of this. Next step is to put that in a pot, get it to a boil, take it to a simmer, and simmer it for about an hour to an hour and a half, whatever our consistency. If you like it really juicy, you don't have to cook it quite as long. If you want it really thick, you want to reduce it down a little more. So, we're gonna take our tomatoes, Transfer them into the pot. You can use stainless steel, you can use enamel, non-stick. All right, turn the heat up. We'll take that to a boil and reduce it down to a simmer. As soon as it came to a boil and we turned it down to a simmer, it released a whole bunch more juice. That's why it takes an hour to an hour and a half. It always amazes me how much juice is released the minute the heat hits it. But we'll see you back here in about an hour, hour and a half. We like to roast our peppers, that way we don't have tough skins in our salsa. They look pretty burnt, but they peel off of here really easily. And we just chop them up. Come off real easy. And then we just chop them into little pieces. All right, it's been an hour and a half. It's thickened up nicely. There's almost no water left in it, but it's still got some sauce to it. So we're gonna go ahead and add the vinegar. Half a cup of vinegar. Half a cup of lime juice. Our yellow pepper. onions. We got fancy and pre-cut everything. We're going to put in our roasted Anaheim peppers. And then of course we have to have our jalapeno peppers. Can't have salsa without garlic. The recipe calls for a little bit of tomato paste. It'll be in the description box below. Got a three ounces of tomato paste. Let's give that a little stir. We're going to add our dry ingredients, black pepper, paprika, cumin, and canning salt. Stir that on in. Go ahead and 
ahead and get your water baths water hot while this is coming back up to temperature and then Piesta Resistance fresh chopped cilantro fold that in here at the end and we'll let this simmer for 10 minutes and then we'll fill the we'll fill our sterilized jars and process normally all right it's been 10 minutes let's turn that heat down let's go ahead and pack some jars okay if you haven't seen this before a pint a pint jar takes two cups I like to put a little bit in each jar to start with and then we'll even them out gotta leave a half inch of head space we like using these large mouth jars that way you can dip right into them This step is very important. You want to make sure you wipe off the rim because when we put the lids and the rings on, we want a nice good seal. We've had our lids in warm water, softening up the rubber gasket. And the thing with the head space is as this heats up in the hot water bath, it's going to force any air out and then as it cools off, it'll make us suction and it'll seal real nice. And these rings, you only want to put these on hand tight. You want to be able to let that air get out. Now this is a hot mixture. So I'll show you how we deal with that. Here we got our water bath canner heating up. Just hand tight. You just want these hand tight so that the air can escape. Once you get them in the canner, set them down in about an inch to two inches of water over the top. And we're going to let this boil and we'll be back. And there you have Saturday night at my house. Thank you for coming to the kitchen, and until next time, come on, let's cook. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.